Welcome back Helium community. Today we're going to talk about um, what's going on with Helium. Why is it flat? Why are my earnings up to down to zero? Now lots of you have been messaging me or in the group or whatever and everybody is fudding. Now there are two things that you need to, um, to put in hand that first of all do not change your settings. There's nothing from your end that you need to do. And second of all do not try to listen to all these fudders that are trying to tell you that it's down, the, the Helium network is going to, you know, it's not working, it's not functioning. I mean, we have expected this from a long time, that these challenges and risks will come along, and that Helium is still under construction. I mentioned this a long time ago, and I mentioned it till now. We are still expanding. We have 320,000 hotspots. You remember when I did the first video, it was about 22,000 hotspots. So we're, we're about 14x in less than six months. So that's huge. When it comes to network expansion, to do 14x in 16 months, that's, that's a big number. Any other network would have probably crashed. And when they say crashed, that means they've tried to fix it and come back. It's not the end. So now we are, we, all we're having is not only we have the network is increasing significantly, but we have a dish first major carrier to deploy on the Helium 5G. We have the roaming partner, Actility and Helium announced roaming integration. We have roaming announcement, Helium roaming partnership with Synet. And so all of these are just getting added to the network. So... Please relax. Do not listen to these guys. Like I don't know why they're trying to scare you off. Is it to slow down the growth so they can make more HNTs? I have no idea what's the purpose. Um, also, I have to tell you this, I think, for the second time or third time. If you have been engaged with the Helium community and if you have been watching the Helium original uh, you know, uh, team, if you have seen their interviews, you would understand what kind of um, brains and you know talents are behind this project. I mean, they are beyond what the regular Joe is. I mean, they're very smart, they're very dedicated, they know what they're doing. So if you have leadership, if you have community, if you have software developers, if you have security developers, if you have demand, if you have networks like these are coming in, if you have all of this, a small hiccup doesn't mean the end. So uh, this is just a quick reminder that there's nothing to worry about. It's just going to be a couple of days and things will go back to normal. Now, if we go back to the Discord, we can go to the announcement and you can see here... So let's check the latest. <clears throat> let's check the latest updates from the Discord of Helium. This is very interesting. It was just released today. The core developers are tagging the whatever minor firmware release as an emergency release. We will be issuing the GA imminently to all hotspots under our control. We've also informed major manufacturers to update their fleets as well, and some have started. Engineering block to come soon, but the primary goal is to get the hotspot fleet to have a matching blockchain core version like our validator release. Update the blessed snapshot ahead of the Doom block and resume syncing, POC, and data transfer activity. We hope that in the coming hours and days, things will start to look a little more normal around here. In the meantime, however, expect lots of fluctuations in the POC rate and rewards, including incredibly lucky rewards when there is limited POC activity within the ebook. So that sounds promising how we could be running to uh, some crazy rewards. So in general the whole idea of this video is the team is strong, the community is strong, the leadership is strong, everything is strong, the network is just growing too big, too fast, um, but is it dangerous? Of course not. It's it's just uh, you know it's just the way it is. I mean, if you watch one of the videos of the you know some of the you know key players in Helium uh, original team, uh, they they were aiming to get two hundred thousand hotspot by the end of this year. Well, at this rate, we should expect I think um, I would say maybe four hundred 
sixty four hundred fifty thousand, which is double plus what they were aiming for. Not to mention the Dish Network and you know Actility and other uh, projects that are running on top of uh, Helium or using the Helium Network. So please make sure that you don't touch your settings. It's all in the back end. I would assume that if you have a Bobcat Miner, you will need to fast sync it. Bobcat Miner seems to be, um, it's when it comes to OTAs or updates, it needs kind of uh, fast syncing. So if that happens, I'll probably do a video on that if it exists because I have one Bobcat Miner, so I'll have to deal with it. Anyways, guys, stay safe and um, just uh, enjoy the ride. This, everything will come back eventually just uh let it let it take a breathe let it just you know let them fix all these stuff and things will go back to normal all right thank you and we'll see you on the next video